Now on this grammar, this one is the most complicated. It's also recursive because there's a method that calls itself adjective phrase could be an adjective and an adjective phrase. Uh, I recommend you go through these a little more slowly. I'm just going to skip right to the last one because that's where your code is going to be based on. I changed my words around to, well, I just added a few. You do need to completely change your words for the lab. Uh, this one's a little morbid because there's died and collapsed and wept. But anyways, you can put much different words. You can theme it a certain way with animals or sports, whatever you want to do. Okay, how do we turn this into code? So some of these, for example, adjective is just a list of adjectives. So that's where we're using the word set. You just put a bunch of adjectives into the word set, the adjective word set. And we'll go back and see it right here. Uh, I did proper noun and regular noun. I didn't do adjectives, so you have to do adjective yourself. Uh, same thing with the regular nouns, proper nouns. Uh, now the co more complicated ones right here, how do we do these? We'll uh, look at that. This says a verb phrase is a transitive verb and a noun phrase. So what's transitive verb? We look and see it right here. Transitive verb is one of these. So when it's just one of the uh, list of strings here. That's what uh, I consider a primitive, and so that's why I created a word set for each of these. Each of these that are at the end, there's nothing more complicated, just returns one of these words. So you'll see that these are all represented by word sets. Two more word sets, and I think uh, three more word sets, so that's five. I didn't do one for the or a because that's not a, you, you have to use the or a, there's no other option there. I guess there's an if you want to get more complicated, but then you have to know when to put the N. That would be a lot more tricky. But these are just methods calling other methods here. So the noun phrase gives uh, the deep, what is that? Demonstrative pronoun, maybe. Oh, I wish I was better at English. Adjective phrase and noun or proper noun. So how do we do the or? We have to add some randomness in here. So these two next to each other, you just concatenate them. Uh, you want to put a space in between them so it looks nice. And you'll do the same thing here for noun, adjective, phrase. All right, so in the code, we're going to scroll down a little bit. Here's the primary, really the only public method, the only one you're going to be calling. And I just made, here we have a result, which is a noun phrase, NP. So this is the Let's see, speak up here, noun phrase, verb phrase. So here's the noun phrase, verb phrase. Now I know I'm making a sentence, so it ends with a period, and in between two words or two phrases, you should put a space. Uh, I did capitalize my first letter, and I used some substring for that. So I'm going to show you noun phrase here. So noun phrase, we'll look back, is the next one. So there's an option, one output, one outcome, or a second outcome. So we need a, to choose these randomly. So that's why I have rand next int. So this gives us an integer from zero uh, up to two, but not including two. So it's a zero or a one. So it either gives us this or this. Normally you'd have a break in here, uh, but because I'm doing a return, it's unneeded. That would probably tell us right there, unreachable statement. So it's actually giving us an error because the return, as we know, stops the execution. It doesn't execute anything down below. I'll just undo that a couple times. There we go. So case zero, meaning if you get a zero for this, you return that, which is the first option, I think. When we look back, yep, that's that. Of course, I'm adding a space in between or so that means the second option, which is case one. And we return proper noun. So you just have to go through this and build up your grammar. And uh, we should be getting a zero, a zero or a one. If we're getting something else, that's a problem. So I just returned error. And I just named it error with noun phrase, just so that you know what's going on because it should be returning or returning. And if it doesn't return, that's the only time that this return st statement would get hit. And that's a big problem. So you can easily accomplish that by going up to four because then it won't be zero or one every time. Sometimes it'll be a two or a three and you'd 
see that error show up. Okay, this should get you started with your lab. The other methods are pretty similar. Uh, when you want to return uh, something with uh, in a word set, it's just word set dot random is the method you use, and that's the one that we have right here. It'll return a string, a random element out of that word set, and of course that will have it back on the grammar any of these five that have the actual strings here, you do need to change your own strings.